What is good everybody it is Spill here and welcome back to the NBA 2K Lab channel. In this video I'm going to be giving you guys my official day one build in NBA 2K24. Generally we do like to wait before we start recommending build videos but I honestly feel like I came up with one of the most well-rounded builds in the game. This build can shoot off the dribble from anywhere and has access to a lot of great shooting badges. The finishing is also solid but what sets this build apart is the playmaking and defense making it a premier two-way wing type of build. Now be sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily NBA 2K24 content let's get right into it Almost every time we make a day one build, there's always a lot of things wrong with it. But luckily in 2K24, we got invited to community day. So we got an early look at the builder, which allowed me to make this build video right here, in which I showed you guys what I would do if I had remade that build. Fast forward a week later, and I've definitely come up with my best day one build ever. This build hits so many different badge and animation thresholds and gets nearly every badge in the game on at least bronze or silver. Speaking of animations and badge thresholds, every time I make a build, I always have the NBA2KLab.com website open to get quick access to each of the badge unlocks and all animation requirements for dunking and dribbling. All of these tools here are completely free and super convenient when making your build so do yourself a favor and definitely check that out next time you're making a build. Now I haven't been able to grind my career as much early on so most of the clips in this video were made with bronze badges and I honestly can't wait to see the full potential. With all of that being said let's take a look at the build itself. As we get started with the template I'm choosing the point guard position as this build is essentially a big guard but you can choose anything from point guard, shooting guard, or small forward. I recommend going shooting guard if you don't want to be the primary ball handler. And then we're going 6'8 for the height, 202 pounds for the silver bulldozer Hall of Fame physical handles cut off at 84 strength, and then a wingspan of 6 foot 10 inches to give us access to the silver agent 3 badge. Starting with finishing, we didn't end up going with contact dunks as we just have an 80 driving dunk here, but this is still a very valuable threshold. An 80 driving dunk is going to unlock a healthy amount of dunk packages to choose from, which I'm still labbing some of the better ones, but one package I'll always love is the clutch baseline reverses off two which requires an 80 dunk on the dot i've seen a lot of people go for 75 driving dunk for the athletic one handers off one package and that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're looking to switch things around on this build but i didn't invest anything past 80 dunk so my close shot is capped with my mid range and layup is also capped with my ball handle so we can't do anything else here moving on to shooting we have a 90 mid range rating which is a lot higher than i'd normally put on any of my builds but in nba 2k24 i personally feel the mid range rating is worth upgrading as it doesn't cost as much as it did last year and not only that but the key part of upgrading mid-range is to unlock the badges needed to become a great shooter. I'm getting access to badges like Hall of Fame Open Looks, Gold Blinders, Gold Deadeye, Gold Green Machine, and a bunch of others which at its peak sounds like a crazy combination of badges. If you didn't want those badges on Hall of Fame or Gold then you can maybe lower midi to an 86 for at least Gold Open Looks but I personally feel the 90 is worth it and it's also going to unlock most jump shots. If I wasn't going for the 90 mid I would probably lower it to about a 72 for at least Silver Mini Magician so that's also an option but next we're going to an 86 3 point rating for silver agent 3 badge which i mentioned earlier which in 2k23 showed a promising boost and i'm hoping it provides a similar boost in 2k24 badge test coming soon but at an 85 rating at least, we get bronze limitless range, allowing us to at least have the ability to shoot from deep range. But all in all, this build will be one of the more deadly shooting builds, especially on the wing. I set my free throw to 67, which is a bit low since free throws seem a bit harder this year. But honestly, I wish I had at least a 71 for the bronze free points badge, but 67 will be fine. And I really couldn't squeeze out any more attributes out of this build anyway. Now for playmaking, we're basically maxed here as we have an 82 pass accuracy for silver touch passer. And I'm currently using no passing style, but my passes are still coming out crispy and a arriving on time. Then we have an 85 ball handle for access to the best SIGs. I actually only use one animation that requires an 85 ball handle and it's not even that important but at an 84 ball handle you get the silver blow by badge so we just max this rating out anyway. Speed with ball is a 75 and unlocks the dribble styles you need. I'm currently using Magic Johnson dribble style and it's a pretty popular choice for people around this rating. There isn't really much you can do with the playmaking on a 6-8 especially if you want to dribble so these thresholds are pretty much set in stone but if you didn't care for the silver touch passer which is honestly a great badge you can maybe save some attributes here and go with a 75 pass accuracy to at least be decent in that area. When it comes to defense, this is never an area we take lightly as a 6'8 and being a taller wing type build, I wanted to make sure we could lock up and get stops on the perimeter and in the paint. So for starters, I went with an 85 perimeter defense for silver clamps, which was the same rating for silver last year in 2k23. And then I went with an 85 steel rating for silver glove, which was also another powerful silver badge last year. The 85 steel rating has felt amazing so far for me early on. And while the results aren't as often as gold, 
gold glove. The silver level more than gets the job done as I've been plucking a lot of guards who are unable to maintain their unpluckable badge. Not only that, but I've been getting some crazy lane steals and overall an 85 steal rating feels like a very solid middle ground. And then lastly, what's a two-way player without at least bronze anchor? So we're giving ourselves a 77 block and 61 interior defense. I didn't invest any attributes in rebounding as I made a point guard, but with some of the things I mentioned earlier in this video, you can maybe shuffle some points around and maybe increase that rebounding if you like. Now on to the most important part of all builds this year, and that is the physicals. So for my 6-8 build, we're going to an 81 speed to get silver speed booster and 80 gives you hyperdrive. For acceleration, I would have really liked to max this out, but we had to sacrifice somewhere. But honestly, the 74 feels just fine and my speed boosts are pretty good regardless. You do unlock some decent badges at 73 acceleration, which gave us bronze fast speed and then silver blow by. And then next we have strength and we went with an 84 rating to get silver bulldozer. But more importantly, I wanted that hall of fame physical candles badge. This is something I haven't seen any progress on, but I'm definitely excited to see what this build would perform like with this badge at the max level. For vertical, we went 60, which was capped with our driving dunk and then 93 stamina for at least the silver handles for days badge. And then there you have it. That is my day one Tatum type build for NBA 2K24. It's a perimeter threat, which is a name that I actually haven't seen too much of, if at all. And honestly, I've been very happy with it. So much so that I haven't even made a second build yet, which is kind of crazy. But that's all I got for this video. If you guys enjoyed it or learned something from it, be sure to leave a like. It's Ben Spill, and I'm out. Later.